What's going on, guys? Mr. Gill, back in the house, back in virtual land. You guys doing okay? What you guys been up to these days? Let me guess. Playing video games, huh? Sleeping late. Not doing your work. You got your mind on Christmas, don't you? Yeah, I do too. Well, guess what? You better have your mind on the report cards coming out pretty soon. And you have not been doing your work and you could get an F. That's right. Yes, an F. Can you believe it? You don't do the work. So guess what? Things happen. You still have an opportunity to get your work done. Better be getting her done. You got a full fledge of activities this week to do. Some of you have not. <clears throat> some of you have not even finished your math diagnostic. You got a language arts diagnostic to get done. You gonna have a test on probability. You got to do. That's right. You gonna have a couple of high Excel assignments to do. You gonna have maybe an I ready assignment to do. You got plenty of work to do. And some of you have not even made up last week's work. Huh? That's insane. You still got an opportunity to get your work done. Yeah, not only Christmas is coming, report cards is coming. Merry Christmas. Today, we're going to learn something new. Multiplication using distributive property and subtract like terms. Make sure you're taking notes. Very important, especially multiplication using distributive property. That's right. You're going to use distributive property in 7th grade, 8th grade, ninth grade, probably throughout your high school career. So you make sure you know it. Understand? So let's get started. Make sure you have pencil and paper. If you don't understand something, rewind the video. How do people learn these days? They go to YouTube. YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. That's right. Get the work done. Let's get started. Suppose we had uh, this right here. Three, then parentheses, plus eight. And I ask y'all to simplify. First of all, you got to know what distributive mean. Distributive mean, you know, passing the buck to somebody. Passing the ball off like in the point guard. You're a point guard. You're going to pass the ball to another guard, to a forward, to a center. If you're a quarterback, you're going to throw the football to a, a wide receiver, to a tight end, or get the ball to the running back. Or if you're a pitcher, you're going to throw the ball to the catcher or to the hitter. Distribute. Same thing in math. And so... If you want to distribute this right here, all you have to do is multiply this 3 to the x, and it's 3 to the 8. Just multiply. 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times 8 is 24. Bring down your operational sign. Do not combine these. This is not equal. This is not equal to 27x. It's just... 3x plus 24. You can't combine these two terms. They're not like terms. We'll talk about that later. Distributive property is so easy. Get her done. Let's do another one, guys. You ready? Let's do our harder one. Uh, negative. Yeah, throw some negatives in here. And people don't like They don't like negatives. They don't like negative numbers. They don't like it. Simplify. So, y'all see that right there? Make sure you know your rules for multiplying integers. Negative 4 times negative x is 4x. Negative times negative, positive. This is negative 4 times negative 9 is positive 36. That's right. That's the answer right there. Negative 4 times negative 9. Yeah, this is a negative 9. That's right. Negative 4 times negative 9 is a... So you can do it like this if you want to. Keep, flip, change. You'll still come out with negative 4 times negative x is 4x. And negative 
4 times negative 9 is positive 36. This is not equal to, not equal to 40x. They are not, these are not like terms. 4x plus 36 are not, are not, are not like terms. See what you have to do there? Anytime you get this going on right here, anytime you got something like this going on, you can do this right here. Bam. Or if you got like 6 minus 7, you can change it if you want to. That makes it better for you. Do another one. All I'm done. I mean, it kind of, it's kind of simple, guys. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of simple. Uh, you know. Eight times C is eight C. And eight times, here we go. Y'all see that minus sign right there? This is what you can do. It'll always work when you see a minus sign. You can do this number right here. And so, 8 times negative 10 is negative 80. So, you can either have that or you can have this. Both answers are correct. Okay, everybody got it? Uh, these are probably be, these are probably be your easy ones right here. These will be your easy ones. The ones we got all those plus signs. You don't have to worry about anything, you know. Six minus okay. Six plus. These are your easy ones. Six times t is six t. There we go. Right here. That's what you're doing. Multiplying and then six times ten plus plus six times ten sixty. This is not equal to 66t. These are not like terms. You got it. Simplifying using the distributive property. When you got a minus sign in there, you can change it. It makes life easier if you change that minus sign, because kids get all confused all the time. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do another one of those. Here we go. Negative 7. Uh, and you want to simplify that baby. Here we go. So when you see that minus sign right there, y'all see that? Uh, negative C minus 9. When you see that, this is what I suggest you do immediately. Here we go. Keep, flip, change. And now you can just multiply if you want to. Check it out. Negative 7 times negative C is positive 7C. Multiply these two together. And then bring down your plus sign. What is negative 7 times negative 9? Positive 63. It's beautiful. There we go. Everybody got it. You see what I've done right there. So you, anytime you see a minus sign, just do that plus negative. It'll get you out of a whole lot of trouble. You know what I mean? Okay, it, it, make, it makes life simpler if you do that plus negative. And then use more plus straight out. Negative 7 times negative C is positive 7c and negative 7 times negative 9 is plus 63. You got it? Any questions about that? It's, it's kind of simple. Multiplying using the distributive property. Simplifying, you're not combining like terms. Now we're going to get into combining like terms. Combining like terms, boys and girls. Get something going on here. There we go. Combining like terms. So if you got this, like terms, like like terms equals like variables.
What do I mean by like variables? The variables are like, like there are two A's and there are two B's and there are two C's and there are two D's and there are two E's or there are three E's or five E's or five C's. Like variables, you can combine them. That's right. Yeah, that's, you got it now. Combining like terms. So if I ask you to add, right here, if I ask you to add 5C plus 7C, you're going to say 12C. If I ask you to add 6B plus 7B plus 8C, do not add that 8C to the Bs. They have to be alike. So your answer is going to be right there. It's going to be 13B plus 8C. See? You can't combine the Bs and the Cs. You can only combine like variables. Okay, I see your hand. What's your question? Uh, Mr. Gill, uh, what are like variables? Huh? I just said what a like variable is. They're alike. You know what the word alike means? Why do you ask me that question? Oh my God. Let's do this. Let's do another one. Suppose you had like. 3B minus 8B. Well, if you know your rules, for, if you know your rules for subtracting integers, you know you're going to do keep flip change. And your answer is going to be negative 11B. You can combine these two terms. You know why you can combine those two terms? Because they're alike. Well, if you got something like this going on, check this out. Negative 3X plus negative 3y plus y plus and they ask you to simplify this big problem you can only combine like terms and so what I mean by that you can combine the two x's right here that's going to give you negative 3x plus negative 6 that's going to give you negative 9x so you might as well cancel that out right now and y'all see that negative three y plus y. So if you don't see a number near a variable, it's always going to be one. And so negative three y plus one y will give you plus, you just write a plus negative two y. You could have two answers here. You could have negative x just minus two y. Same thing. Negative x plus negative 2y is the same thing as negative x minus 2y. Same thing. You can only combine like terms. Okay, who's got a question out there? Good question. Uh, Miss Neal, does, uh, suppose I had uh, 6y plus 3y. Would that be the same terms? No, you didn't ask that question. Yes, it's going to be the same terms. Why? They're both of them are Y's. Yes. Why won't they be the same? Do you not see Y's? Yes, they're the same. What kind of question is that? No, you didn't ask that question. Oh, my God. Let's do another one. I'm throwing a curveball at you guys now. X plus C. Yeah. Minus 9C. Plus 17. You can only combine like terms. That's right. And so, this right here, these two are alike. And then the 17, they don't have, those are like. So let's do this first. Do 8 plus 17, that's 25. So get rid of those. And then y'all see that? C minus 9C. How would you do that? Keep, flip, change. So that'd be keep, flip, change. That'd be negative 8C. That's your answer. Or you can do 25 plus. That's right. You can only combine like terms. Like terms mean same variable. Uh, you got a question? Yes, uh, Mr. Gill, does 
Variable means the same thing as letter. Yes, it does. Letter, variable, variable, letter, letter, variable, variable, letter, letter, variable means the same thing. My God, I'm looking in the look. I'm looking in the rearview mirror at you, man. I've left you in dust. Look at look. I'm, I'm look. I'm in front of you, man. I'm in the rearview mirror. I'm looking at you in the rearview mirror, man. Look, look at my video. Let's do another one. Oh, uh, let's do a big one. Negative two k plus negative three k minus. 9D minus uh, 8K plus 10D. That's a big one. Okay. Let's identify all our like terms. This right here is a like. These right here are rank. And that's a like. And then right here, uh, these are like. Those two are like. Like terms. So what you can do on one like this one, boys and girls, you can do this right here. You do negative 2K plus negative 3K minus the 8K right there. See right there? Okay, you're going to try to figure that out right here. So this is going to be combined these two terms. That's going to be negative 5K minus 8K. That's going to be key flip change negative 13k for that one that's right so get rid of all this and then y'all see that uh minus 9d plus 10d if you know your rules you know that'll be just one d right there so your answer is you have two answers this or you can have this same thing any questions about combining like terms, like letters? You can only combine like letters. Most people want to say variables. Or you can say, if you're going to be a professional, terms. Terms, variables, letters. Variables, letters, terms. Okay, here we go. Going back to right here. Let me go back to my distributive property right quick here. I forgot to do one like this one. Somebody asked, yeah, somebody asked this question. What, Mr. Gibbs, suppose you had this going on, man. Suppose you had like uh, uh, 3x plus 4, and then on this side, you're going to have the number on that side. Instead of having it on the left side, you have the right side. Well, it does not even matter. If you can still multiply it, if you want to turn it around, just turn it around. Do it like this if you want to. If you feel comfortable doing this, it's the same thing, man. No problem. And then, then distribute it, man. Distribute it. Distribute it. Distribute it. Distribute it. Distribute it. Distribute it. Uh, so you got right here, uh, 2 times negative uh, 3x is negative 6x. And then 2 times 4 is you're finished. Simplify, baby. You understand the word that's coming out of my mouth about distributive property. Better get her done. Some of you ain't been watching my videos, especially cohort B. You have not been watching my videos on Canvas. You can operate complex video games and all the other stuff you do. But you can't even look in Canvas to find your lessons? That does not compute with me. Quit trying to pull the wool over your parents' eyes. You definitely ain't pulling the wool over my eyes. You can look at Canvas and get this assignment done. You don't get this assignment done? Hey, I'm giving up zeros. There are some, now I'm not knocking all the kids. There are some kids knocking it out, making A's. I don't want to call your names. I don't want to put, ain't put anybody on blast. But you know who you are. You're making good grades. You're doing every assignment. You're watching all my videos. That's awesome. You're getting the work done. I, mean, I don't even have to tell you anything. The rest of you people, you're trying to get over. It's not going to work. Mr. Gibbs going to put in zeros. Do you understand the words that come out of my mouth? Okay. Let's go in this little, this is going to end this little segment. But before we leave here, 
Samoa, 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 Samoa. You know how it goes. like to do a little bit of hard work in a house. Everybody likes a little hard work. Let's just do a little painting. A little painting. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's do, this is Christmas. Let's do, do some green, a little greenery. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. And then a little bit of red on there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. bit of red. That's right. A little red in there. Okay. You know how Christmas is. Christmas is like all about red and green. Everybody knows that, right? Everybody knows it's about red and green. There we go. And then, you always want to have uh, hold tight a minute. You always want to have a little scene to leave you with. Here we go, guys. Merry report cards. <laughs> Merry report cards. There we go. Merry report cards. Merry report cards. Okay, boys and girls. Until I see you next time in virtual land, Mr. Gill is going to sign... Oh!